How animation works is it's a trick. When you go to a movie, you're basically seeing 24 still images every second. It's like a flipbook. As I flip through here, you can see that each drawing is a little different than the last one. And then as I flip through at speed, the illusion of movement is created. Pixar really wanted to show the public how animation works. And one of the ideas to do this was to build something called a zoetrope. Zoetropes go back to the 19th century. If you imagine a barrel with little slots and images, each a little different from the last, it's like a shutter, and it shows you a little glimpse of that drawing across the way, and they appear to move. Studio Ghibli has this amazing three-dimensional zoetrope. John Lasseter had seen the, the zoetrope there, and I think he said, I've never seen an object that so well describes the basic premise of animation. When it was suggested that we do one for ourselves, it was a no-brainer. Instead of drawings, we're using sculptures. So what you're seeing are 18 different sculptures, each slightly different than the last one. And instead of flipping through them, we're using a strobe light to make those images stick in your eye. And these spinning images freeze in space. And each sculpture replaces the last one and appears to move. It's stunning because it looks like it's come to life right in front of you. I think that the zoetrope is the clearest explanation of animation because on the disc, you get to see every frame of animation before your current frame where you're looking and every frame of animation after it. Here you have the opportunity to see the tricks the animator used to make things move. It's a very simple mechanism, it's a very simple idea, but somehow seeing that come to life right in front of you is really fantastic.